Light and peace, brothers and sisters. Topic of discussion today is who and what is the best. For centuries now, the best have devoured us. But in reality, what exactly is the best? Who is who is the best? I'm going to be talking about different aspects of the best, but my primary focus today is just to focus on one aspect of the beast. The other aspect of the beast will be uh, will be talked about later in the future when there are enough group of faiths so we could work together and then we'll come up with a nice topic of discussion about the beast. But for today, I'm going to be talking about just one aspect of the beast. Um, and I'm going to be pulling up the v, uh, the Oapsi and I'm going to be reading from Oapsi chapter... I'm going to be reading from Oapsi chapter 1, verses 11 to 13 and 16. Um, here we go. And the beast divided itself into four great heads and possessed the earth. A man fell down and worshipped them. Did you hear that? So the beast divided himself into four big heads, great heads. You see that? And possessed the earth. It possessed our world. A man fell down and worshipped them. Verse 12, the names of the heads of the beast were Brahmin, Buddhist, Christian, and Mohammedan. Mohammedan you all know, or Muslim, or Islam. And they divided the earth and apportioned it between themselves, choosing soldiers and standing armies for the maintenance of their earthly aggrandizement. aggrandizement. Now, here we go. So, the OAPC is telling us, that the beast divided itself into four great heads, and it decodes to us that religion, as you know it, was the, uh, become the beast. So we have four major religions in our current era now: Brahmin, which we already know as being Hindu; Buddhist, we all know that; Christianity, which happens to be the popular one, and followed by Islam. So here we go. So we have four heads of the beast at this moment, and they divided themselves. Um, we have one great one beast that divided himself into four major parts. Verse 13. Verse 13. And the Brahmin had seven million soldiers. The Buddhists, 20 million. The Christians, seven million. And the Mohammedans, two million. Whose trade was killing man. And man, in the service of the beast, gave one sixth of his life and his labor to war and standing armies and one third to dissipation and drunkenness and this was the sixth era let's pause here for a minute this is interesting verse 13 is telling you that the beast now become you know uh soldiers whereby the the christians the muslims now they, they could war each other because they have soldiers now this is so interesting because verse 13 now tell you that each of the beasts now have soldiers and it obviously tells you that their trade in other words their main objective is to kill man to kill people and this is just in service to the beast and this is very funny the obviously on verse 13 tells you this was the sixth era so for those of you who don't understand what an era is an era is a period of 12,000 years so the end of the sixth era which we fall right under uh toward the end of when osiris ruled so that number will be 10 33 bce to 7053 bce and this will be uh if you're to use the cosman uh timeline that will be 12,000 to 8,900 before Cosman. So here we have it. That So at the end of 6th era, the religion have already divided themselves to where they're trading is just basically killing people. You know? And the thing is, in order for the beast to establish itself, it had to kill people all four corners of the world. Any part of the world, the beast were killing. You see that? And the religion people are actually partaking in this. You see? Now let me go to the final verse of uh, verse 16. Behold, the second era. Behold, the seventh era has begun. So the seventh era, if you are to look 
Um, for those who are reading Orapsi, you already know where I'm talking about. So the seventh era started in the year 1848, and we are currently in the year 2018 already. So the era started in the year 1848. So you could do the man to know exactly. So right now we're on the seventh era right now. Now it says your creator commands your change from a carnivorous man of contention to an herbivorous man of peace. The four heads of the beast shall be what? Put away and there shall be no more war on the earth. Now something to address here. Now the creator provides solution but the four heads of the beast, the religion people do not give you solution. What they do is they create more problem. The creator is now telling us that in order for us to come back to the man of peace, man of peace, for us to become man of peace, we need to convert back to a bivorous diet. That we will not be fighting wars. You see that? So due to these wars now, let me go back to another, let me go to another chapter and tell you exactly what the beasts have done. So the beasts have converted himself to four major religions already. We have four major religions from the beast. So the, the followers of the beast are the religious people. So those are the Christian. Those are the Muslim, Buddhist, uh, and Hinduism. The followers, those people who follow the beast, who follow the religion. If you have a religion preference, if you go to a place of worship on a, uh, every Sunday and your, your, your focus is to war, when that pastor the preacher is telling you to 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 kill your enemy via prayer to use prayer prayer points to kill your enemy then that you're part of the beast you're part of the beast you see now so let me let me just show you exactly what the beast have created these four major religions look at what they've done the book of extra chapter 51 verses 1 to 2 the book of extra chapter 51 verses 1 to 2 the wars between the false gods the four four gods you see that the wars between the four false gods Luomon, which happens to be the christian god taught alias gabriel which happens to be the muslim god inoshista which happens to be the hindu god and Kabbalistic, which happens, which happens to be the Buddha God, lasted for another five hundred years. So these four gods were fighting among each other, and they came to terms and ratify a division of the earth. You see that? So they divided the earth, and our heavens. So the heavens, are, you know, on uh, t to our world is three layers: first, second, and third heaven. But what happens with the fallen gods is that the false gods, the fake gods, they don't have access to third heaven. The maximum or the highest they can go is just second heaven. Now listen to this. And they came to terms and ratified the division of the earth and our heavens into four great parts with fixed boundaries. You see that? So these gods came to themselves saying, since they've been fighting for more than 500 years, they say, you know what? We're going to come into terms. So they came into terms. They had a dues meeting and said to themselves, let's divide the world into four. You see that? Verse 2. And they stipulated. See? They divided the world into four parts, to four major parts with stipulation. And they stipulated that the spirit of all mortals, a time of death, you see that? She go to the heaven which reign over the portion of the earth where they had lived unless carried away by God, son of Jehovah, into paradise. You see that? So the four heads of the beast, you know, so for those of you who read the Christian Bible and who are familiar with Revelation, you keep on hearing the four heads of the beast. You keep on hearing the beast. That's your four heads of the beast decoded using the oopsie. The OAPSI just decoded for you right now. The four heads of the beast right there decoded using the OAPSI. The OAPSI just decoded to you that the four major religion are your four heads of the beast. You see that? Now, the names of these gods are Luomong, Thoth, Inoshista, and Kabbalistic. And they are controlling the four major religion that we have there, well, that we have right now in our world. You see? They've they maintain the entire world. They are controlling our world. True religion, though. 
They're using religion to control us. And they've divided the heavens above our con our continent, above our world, above our countries. You see that? Now, let me go to the book of knowledge for a minute. And for those of you who don't understand, the beast, there's different types of the beast. But today's topic of discussion was just to focus on the religion aspect of the beast. And the beast has divided himself into four. Four eggs. Now the book of knowledge. Chapter 7 verses 13 and 15. The book of knowledge. Chapter 7 verses 13 and 15. Verse 13. For one man worship science. And it was his beast. You see that? Another worship riches. And it was his beast. Another fashion. Another lust. Another worship nothing. And each of these things that was worshipped became that person's beast. Now all these and others like them continued to do the same thing after death. For that which they had built up on earth become a living entity within them. And they could not put it away. This was the first resurrection. Being the birth of unclean man into the spirit world. Verse 15. Verse 15 is very juicy now. You want to listen to this very carefully. I'm reading from the book of knowledge. Chapter 7 verses 13 and 15. For one people worship Brahma. Making a beast of him. Another worship Buddha. Another Christ. Another Jesus. Forever parading his crucifixion. And they all made a beast of their idols. In my last video, I did idol worshippers. So your idol worshippers are the major four major religion that we have there. Your Christian people who are worshipping Jesus, who are worshipping the image of Jesus. That There you go. That's the beast also. You've created a beast out of an idol. This is what verse 15 in the book of knowledge chapter 17 is telling us. Let me continue. And the beast that each one built up Within his soul become an entity to him on his entrance into spirit world. And he became bound to the imagination, to the ma machinations of evil spirits professing to, the, to be that beast. And these evil spirits became like gods, in fact, building kingdoms in the lower heavens and making subjects and slaves of the worshippers compelling them to contribute part of their earning that sounds familiar your 10 percent your tithes and offering and labor in spirit even as mortal kings exert tribute taxes labor military service etc on earth and these rulers had thousands and millions and ten thousands or millions of subjects and slaves and their cities were as represented to mortals paved with comparative pearls and diamonds, and so before Kazman, the organic heavens situated close to the earth were divided up among the four heads of the beast, and yet beside this, mostly on or near the earth, were many lesser kingdoms of various other false gods and false lords, and mostly professing to be the true Christ, true Jesus, true Buddha, true Brahma, or Allah. You see that? Verse 15 actually Come, it just gives the conclusion of what, what and who are the beasts. The beasts are the religion people. And the funniest about this thing is that because of the beast, they now created a number in which I'm going to decode in my next chapter. They created a number of the beast. They created the number of the beast. You see that? The number. So here you have it. You've got religion being the beast. The beast has been decoded. The four heads of the beast are your four major religions that we worship today in our world. Verse 15, the book of knowledge, chapter 17, just sum it up. Just gives me the summary and the conclusion of what I've been talking about for the past 14 minutes. The four heads of the beast are your religion, people. And what they do now is that if you continue following that religion, you become slave in your heaven. If you've not watched my video about idol worship, you should go watch it. I got tons of videos about one of them is self-glorified gods and goddesses. And talks about how we become how humans who worship Jesus Christ, who worship an imaginary figure, become slaves in heaven. 
Now, my next chapter, which will be the next chapter and which will be the last thing to talk about the beast, is the book of Cosmogony and Prophecy, chapter 11, verses 5. Here, we tell you the number of the beast. Now, every beast that we have, every beast religion have a number, and it's just one number, and that's how you identify them. So, you'll be surprised that Christianity, Buddhism, Hinduism, and Islam actually have a number of the beast, and the beast is 666. I'm about to decode it using the book of Cosmogony and Prophecy right now. Here we go. The book of Cosmogony and the book of Cosmogony and Prophecy, chapter 11, verse 5. The second begun with flag at Ainun. O oh, you fire of heaven, how many chiefs mark the altar of Jehovah? Question mark. Respond, four or more. O oh, you setting sun, speak. I'll stand the fathers. Respond, my hand shield the light of all seeing eye. My act I cast to the wings as a circle divided into four quarters is the symbol of the name of Jehovah. Those marking the symbol, cloven twice across who has dominion over all things. So are the four sides of the world represented by four fathers in the chamber of light in the temple in the temple of Olives, which is square with east and west and north and south. For the honor and glory of our fathers in heaven. How are they numbered? Respond. 33 and 3 and 1. 99. Now focus in there as well. This is where the numbers of the beast is going to be decoded here. Yeah? What is the reason for this sign of blood and death? Response. They are the four heads of the beast. Did you hear that? Let me read that again. What is the reason for these signs of blood and death. Respond. They are the four heads of the beast. They are always stationed. In four corners of the lodge. Why in the four corners? Respond. Because of darkness upon them. Here you go. See right here. So all this religion. That follow the beast. Who have divided the beast into four. Are what? They have darkness upon them. They profess peace. But practice war. You see that? Now, you've got places of worship, Christian churches now, that actually have security guards. They've got soldiers watching over them. That, that goes back to what I was saying in the uh, Orasi chapter 1, verses 13, that they had soldiers. You see that? So let's continue. How are they numbered? Listen carefully now. They profess peace and but practice war. How are they numbered? 1, 11, 66, and the last one, 666, the number of the beast. There you have it. 666 is the number of the beast. And each religion people, religion people got a number of the beast, which is 666. Here you have it. Or oh, you decoding it that the religion people are the ones that have the number of the beast. You see that? Not your antichrist, not your... Not your people, not your people, the, the unbelievers. No, the people who follow the religion today, the major four religion today, has the number of the beast six 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 six. In your name, where we assemble, O oh Jehovah, give us strength, wisdom, and love, so that we may avoid the fatal numbers. Let me read that again. I am still reading from the book of Cosmogony and Prophecy, chapter eleven, verses five. In your name. It says again. Let me read it from. Let me backward. How are they numbered? It says 666. The number of the beast. In your name we are assembled. Oh Jehovah. Jehovah is the creator. Is the great spirit. Is the ever present. Give us strength. Wisdom and love. So that we may avoid the fatal numbers. And that we may glorify you and your dominions. Respond. Amen. Here we go. The beast has been decoded. The four heads of the beast are four major religions. <laughs> so here you have it. Your religion has been decoded. Your Christianity, your Islam, your Buddhism. 
your Buddhist, your Christianity, your Islam, and your Islam, your Christianity, mm -hmm. all your major religions, your Brahmanism, which is the same thing with Hinduism, and your Buddhism has been decoded as the four major religions of the world, and is the beast, and the beast divided itself into four, and those four major, those four heads represent four major religions, and from there they were given a number, and the number of the beast is six, six, six. So here you have it: the beast divided himself into four and created a religion, and from a religion we have idol worship. Do you see what the beast has done? Now we have war all over. You can't even count one city of peace when you to look at what religion has done in our current era. They cannot give us one peace. Brothers and sisters, subscribe to my YouTube video. The topic of today was just to describe and explain who and what the beast is. Thank you very much. Light and peace, brothers and sisters. Bye-bye now.